Hi all, until 2021 Flatout 3 was the lowest rated game on Steam with a rating of 1.5 out of 10. What's so bad about it, I'll tell you. I'm playing this game for the first time, even though I've played previous games in this series. At the first start of the game, we are greeted by error. Yes, Steam version just doesn't work. Before playing the game, I had to change compatibility, but it didn't help. I was already thinking of downloading a pirated version of the game, but I found something better. A pirate patch that fixed the whole game. That's it. The game was more important to the community than to the creators. If you want to torture yourself, I leave the patch in the description. To begin with, this game is clearly not for humans. It's hard to play, not because it's a hardcore racing game, but because this game was clearly made for food and without a prior playtest. At the beginning of the race, we can choose a car and a character. Here we meet different girls, a Wall Street clerk and a punk, which for some reason reproduces the fly animation. If I got it right and the developers mix it up, then somewhere in the game there is a vomiting fly. Starting the first race, I immediately felt the difference with the previous part. The car was very responsive, with terrible brakes, and there was almost no grip. Recall that in the second part you could feel the weight of the car. The maps themselves are a little strange, I would say illogical. If the first three maps can be said that they are average, the fourth map has a strange scenery and a tack helicopter where he came from in general. So he also commits war crimes, that's bad. A lot of bumps on which you fly up and your car spins like a spinner, so you still have to have time after landing to enter the turn. In the previous parts you could believe what was going on. The farm, the town, the canal. This can all be in real life, but where can you find fucking bombs with an attacking helicopter? By the way, the soundtrack has changed a lot. Earlier you could feel the drive, yellow card, fallout boys, divines and others. I still listen to these tracks, and in the third part only the funeral instrumental. Also, even there I would have been ashamed to turn it on. Next I decided to ride in a derby, and honestly tell you, the mod got a lot worse. It would seem how you can do it so badly. The developers had to pour lemonade from one glass into another and give it to the consumer. But in the end, they fucked up the juice, they pissed in a glass, and the consumer was told to fuck off. Maps themselves with bags, and the feeling that playtest really wasn't. Because it seems like the idea is not bad, but fuck. Why not make a map with ice breaking so that each time there is less and less space or have the ice break after a tornado hits you so the tornado itself does exactly nothing. If most of the maps can still be called acceptable, the map with two platforms is a nightmare. You'll crash on it every 5 seconds. Not only will you suffer from this crap, but you can also spawn on a hole and it's almost impossible to get out of there. There is no health indicator anymore, so you do not know how much health points you have now. You don't know how much health points your opponent has. Previously if you saw a car with a red indicator, you hit it, but now it's completely random, as well as the system of damage points. In the second part of the game, when you drive at full speed in a car, its wheels come off, other parts of the car and this car will obviously have less than 50% of health points. Now it's literally a generator of random numbers. Nothing depends on the force of impact, and the AI has only become dumber. Monster attack branch is fun, although the tasks are monotonous, like destroy a little of this and a little of that, but there is an interesting mod, a kind of an ancestor of Rocket League, where you have to roll a huge mine in a barrel or a pit, but there is a nuance, your car receives damage at each collision. There is no competitiveness, because even the smartest bots are so stupid, and it's also not clear why I need this arrow over my car, so I do not forget who I'm playing for. The most favorite mod of all players, the mod of driving with a seatbelt buckle. When I started the stunts, I noticed that no characters work except the Santa girl, and the others just use the emotion from Fortnite. Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. And when they fly out, they're transparent. The first map is a kind of darts, the second is a long jump, it's boring and uninteresting. The third I didn't understand how to pass at all, and it happened by accident, that's what I hope you just won't get banned. In the second part, all the tricks were high to real sports, football, basketball, curling, bowling. It was all in a stadium with a bunch of people shouting their opinions. And in the third part, it's some bullshit in the middle of the woods. So. Even Apple's latest event is more interesting. This game was the first time I played a formula type race. I'm not sure what you can do in real race, but I choose a monster track. By the way, you can choose any car. <laughs> The next mod was supposed to be the hardest mod in the game, but I wouldn't say so. Just a race at night and in the rain. Romantic.
Off-road race mod is the most boring, it's just a race through the desert or a farm where you have to break everything you see, well, and come first at will. The last mod is a challenge where you have a mix of everything that was before but without the ability to choose a car and a driver. In normal games the mod is called career, but developers know better. Well, at the end I want to say subscribe to my channel, like and write comments and we'll see very very soon. Bye.